Hello everyone, this is uh, Luis, your PE captain. We're back with another video. Uh, today we're going to be doing some ad that adapted uh, games activities. Uh, we're going to be doing three different activities with adapted equipment. The things that you can have here at home and just easy for you to do different activities. We're going to have uh, like a little uh, race in the beginning. Um, we're going to have a, um, a throwing activity, uh, underhand throw. And we're gonna have an activity like baseball uh, with a small tee bat that we created, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I did, uh, so you can have, you can try to do the same thing that I did at home with the equipment that I did. Uh, the things that you're gonna do, you're gonna need for this activities are um, something that will resemble balls. Uh, in this case, we're gonna use uh, socks. So the same thing that we did for the previous video. If you have pairs of socks, you can them together and make little balls with it. We're going to use that for the throwing game uh, and also for the uh, tee bat hitting the baseball bat game. And um, we also need boxes of shoes. I figure you're at home, you probably have many boxes of shoes at home, so we're going to need at least two or three uh, boxes of shoes so we can do the throwing game. We're going to be throwing the, the small balls at the, at the small boxes of shoes. Um, also, we will need a um, tape. If you have at home a uh, a round, um, it can be duct, duct tape. Uh, you can, if you have two rolls of duct tape, so we can create a small tea bag. And if you have a, a poster board at home or something that you can use to make this tea bag, it's basically what we did here. You can have a poster board and you put it into the tape rolls and if you have two tape rolls it will have enough weight so that way when you pull the ball up and you hit it with the baseball bat it will stay and it won't fall um, if you don't have poster board at home you can also use uh, paper towel rolls and you can uh, put them together at least two of them two or three together with tape and you can put a small ball on top and just use it as a tea bag okay And for actually hitting the ball, we have the small baseball bat, but you can use, uh, I would guess, a broomstick if you have at home, or anything else that will resemble the size of the baseball bat, okay? All right, so we're gonna start with the warm-up. So we're gonna do a small warm-up. We're gonna put the music on and start moving around so we can start our, our activities today, okay? Ready, guys?
first thing, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna start doing our throwing activity, okay? So for the throwing activity, we're gonna leave the shoe boxes in one end. We're gonna stand on the other end. Uh, you can have your shell stand about five to 10 feet away. If, it's, if you're at home with a small children, uh, I would say five feet away. If you're at home and your child is older, I would say eight to 10 feet, okay? So, here you go. All right, Alanis. All right, so we're gonna start. We're gonna pick up the ball, one ball at a time, and go over here. And now you're gonna throw it on the hand towards the shoe box. I mean, I mean, this one. All right, good job. Go ahead, son. Go, on. There you go. Nice throw. Almost. Whoa! <laughs> Good job, Lisa. One last one, okay? Ready? Easy. Almost. It's okay. It's okay. All right. So then, what we're gonna do? We're gonna put the socks back in the box. Put them back in the box. Go over there. And now we're gonna do our second activity. And in this one. It's gonna be a running activity. So we're gonna leave the socks on one end, and what we're gonna to have to do is we're gonna to have to run, pick up one sock, and bring it back to where we're standing, okay? And we're gonna keep doing the same. We're gonna run, pick up one, and back. Let me show you guys first, okay? I'm gonna show you first. We're gonna run, pick up one, put it on the floor, go run, pick it up, put it on the floor, pick it up, put it on the floor, last one, and put it back on the floor, okay? Okay, ready? Set, go! Go on, let it go. One, one, go. there you go. Put on the floor, Alani, put on the floor. Good, go. So this is this is the chant. This is how it goes. I'm gonna say his name and I'm gonna chant. I'm gonna say, let's go Lisan Hill. Let's go Lisan Hill. Alright, go ahead. Hit it. Whoa! Okay, so it's gonna be Alani's turn now. Alani, you're gonna stand right here. Wait, you're gonna stand right here. 
and hold it with two hands. So when you're at home with your child, if you want to help them uh, do this activity, the, the baseball swing, you'll stand right behind them. Make sure the hands are holding the baseball bat. Um, and if they can't do it by themselves, then you're going to hold right over the hand. You're going to put your hand right over the hand and do the same motion with them a couple times, like one, two, three. And then by the third time, you just let them do it. Okay? Ready? Okay, wait, don't do it yet. Let me do the chant. Let me do the chant. Let's go, Aladdis. Let's go, Aladdis. Hit it. There you go. Good job. All right, last one. And then we're going to do the cool down so we can finish the video, okay? And go. Let's do the cool down. We're gonna put our hands up. Everybody, hands up. Set your legs up. We're gonna do it like this. Look, we're gonna stop on the floor, and we're gonna go down. Reach your toes. One, two, three, four. Five, hands up again, stretch your legs out, stomp your feet, and go down, one, two, three, four, five, again, one more time, stretch your legs out, go down, one, two, three, four, five, all right, our gym class is finished, thank you guys for joining us, and I will see you in the next one, okay, bye-bye.